welcome to this evergreen video. Today we're talking about marketing funnels for artists. If you don't know what a marketing funnel is, we're gonna explain it, okay? A lot of people know marketing funnels as sales funnels, but most of it is as marketing and just the tip of sales, so. Um, just the tip. <laughs> so the top part, obviously, you want to get people into your marketing funnel. So that's building awareness, and that's through things like social media or doing collaborations with um, whoever, other people in your niche. I like to think about everything in analogies, and I thought of the marketing funnel like um, crossing a river. So the river is like the internet. It's you, People have to cross all of that shit, which some of it is not shit. All of it, a lot of it's really awesome. Um, but they have to cross it nonetheless from one side of who like not knowing you to being a paying customer That's on the other side is your little kiosk and this is where you buy and you have to come up with a way to cross this river and you can't just like definitely no one if there's no bridge or stepping stones no one's gonna be swimming across the river when there's bridges and stepping stones to other places and other products and other businesses so you have to uh, build some sort of bridge and you might not have the infrastructure at first but you think about it like stepping stones when I first started my marketing funnel I had like a stepping stone here and and I actually went eventually when it wasn't working I went through a process of like okay where where am I losing people and I'm thinking about it like stepping stones and I'm like okay this there's a big gap here so technically it's possible to go to this link and buy but like I have too many call to actions on this one page or there you know people get distracted over here or they kind of lose interest over there and that's a gap in the stepping stones uh, uh, uh. okay you have to be okay with like you know most of it not working in the beginning my first marketing funnel like I decided oh I'm just gonna try everything which meant that you know if you think about the river right but stepping stone was I have a stepping stone here, and then I have a stepping stone here, and then I have stepping stones literally freaking everywhere. Like the river, like people are like, does the river exist? Because oh. there's so many. Oh yeah, they get, they get distracted stones. further down. If I have all these stepping stones and you can't figure out where I am to get to the end, like you're gonna move on. I mean, that's just that's just how it is. So, so in the beginning, put a bunch of close together stepping stones, which you eventually build into a bridge so people can easily walk across. And the less steps, honestly, the better. Yeah, um, simplify. A market funnel that works for you, what do you think would be? I am going to pull up an image on here of a, my marketing funnel that works. The first one that I found works for me um, is in the top part, which is growing awareness. I put a blog post up and I put a pin on that blog post and then I pin that pin to Pinterest and I continue to build up my Pinterest until it's like I think right now it's at about half a million followers or monthly viewers and it's mostly through Pinterest groups so that was passive engagement you know people would see my pin they go to my blog post they maybe read my blog post and then the active engagement part is where people were like Oh, I do want that download. Um, so then they signed up for the email list to get the download. And then on that email list, then you mostly, honestly, like give away a bunch of like free advice and free content that you think um, people like you and um, your demographic would resonate with and, and get help from. And then eventually you sell something and you have, you do have to eventually like ask for the sale um, or you don't you don't actually make that sale. So where I first fucked up that part is not creating a sense of urgency, just kind of being like, here's this course and it's up whenever and I'll probably get, there'll probably be a better course later actually as I get better. But that, that doesn't like create any sort of sense of urgency. Oh, I've only got 6%. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cord. Okay, so this is a great marketing funnel for an artist in my opinion this is one that will work for you because it's kind of worked for me for the awareness stage and attracting audience have a blog write stuff that is relevant to people not just to other artists but to people yes. that will buy your art right you want to you don't want to attract an audience like i was i think i was telling you earlier about like you know people they start a facebook page and then they want all their friends and family to like it 
likes don't mean shit. Like you want people to like it that will actually end up buying your work. And that's usually not your aunt. <laughs> I mean, your aunt, well, your aunt will probably engage with every single post you make. But actually, right? that, that but... does help with the search engine stuff. But at the end of the day, you want to, in general, attract an audience that will buy your stuff. Right. Also, say you, you get your social media game up and people are actually going to your website and they're checking you out. What are you going to do with that website traffic? Are you just going to let them come there and be like, cool, this is cool, bye. You know, Love like, your story. Yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> no, you, you want them to become like email subscribers. So for the passive engagement part, um, have a blog post that really like makes people like, oh, yeah, that helps. I, I'm going to try that strategy or whatever. Like that, that seems like something I want more information on. And then you have for the... The active engagement part, you have a download, which is a guide or a worksheet or a workbook or something that's like, you know, like in this video, the guide is you get a template for the marketing funnel and you can fill it in. It helps you and it also gets people on your the, our, our email list. So that's, that's the active engagement part that there, there shouldn't be, like, honestly, too, if you have any shame, oh, I'm just trying to get people to get on my email list, like, if you're giving them something that's actually making their lives better, why would you feel bad about promoting that? Like, that's helping people. That's the active engagement part. And then brand trusting is you stay on the list, you keep reading the emails, you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, th no, th I like this. I like this messaging. Um, this is helping me and I'm gonna stay on the list. And then they're like, hey, there's this video, and you know, you, you go to the video, and then you're like, okay, you know what, I really, I do like this brand. I like what they're talking about. I've, I've been helped already by free content. I wonder what their paid content is like. Like, I bet if this is their free content, their paid content must be better, which it is, right? You make, mm -hmm. you make your product so that it is better than your free content. Mm -hmm. So that's when they convert into customers after they've already know, known and trusted your brand. Okay, so let's say, all right, so your marketing funnel can be all types of different things. It doesn't have to be Pinterest, it could be like Instagram, and then you have an Instagram ad and whatever. It goes down through the process through through that top of the funnel. And there's, there's unlimited ways that you can create a marketing funnel. The point is to focus on just one. But the point the is that you really need to focus on one and test it out in many different ways. You have to think about, keep in mind too, right? When you're creating a marketing funnel, you're at the infant stage of your entrepreneurship. You're not going to get a lot of engagement in the beginning. That's it's just true. not. If you don't happen. have a marketing funnel that's set up and working, you're definitely in the infant stage. So you just have to remember, right? Like it's going to take some time and that's okay. It's good to have time. It's good to figure out what you're doing. It's good to stay focused and remember that it's going to work out. Well, it might not. If you can't stay focused and you can't stay motivated, <laughs> it will not fucking work out. <laughs> we need to put like rain. <sighs> Make sure that you have your funnel defined. If you don't have it defined, get the download for um, the interactive download where you can kind Figure of fill it out. out. <laughs> and and then and then you should you should be good to go. Okay. All right. I'll we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.